Okay, what's up YouTube? This is J-Man Time, and today I have another rare weapon for you guys today. Today's weapon comes all the way from Norway, and it is a prototype semi or fully automatic rifle designed in the 1930s. This weapon is known as the Hoven Darsen Darsenolet M1930. I know I'm pronouncing that name wrong as I can't speak Norwegian. Semi or fully automatic battle rifle from around 1929 to 1930. This weapon was chambered either for the 6.5 by 55 mm Mauser or some other experimental Norwegian cartridge. The weapon was fed by either a 10 to 25 round magazine and had a rate of fire of at least 3 to 500 rounds per minute if it was fully automatic. This weapon is a mystery as I can't find any information on it. In fact, this photograph I found, I found by accident while looking up in prototype Norwegian weapons of the 1910s, 20s, and 30s. Now, this weapon was most likely designed during the era in which Norway was attempting to modernize their military. Between the years 1920 and 1938, Norway did attempt to modernize their military in many ways. For example, Example, the standard Norwegian rifle was the old Krag Jorgensen. The Krag Jorgensen was a bolt action rifle from the 1880s. In fact, the United States actually used the Krag Jorgensen from 1892 until the adoption of the Springfield 03 rifle in 1903 1905. So Norway was attempting to replace the Krag Jorgensen, and there were a bunch of different semi-automatic and fully automatic prototype weapons designed in Norway between 1920 and 1938, just one year before the Second World War. And this is one of the rarer prototypes. This Hoven or Hov or Hov Darsenlet M1930 is a pretty advanced prototype weapon from Norway. I can't find any information on why this weapon was never adopted. In fact, outside of this photograph and the museum that it's sitting in, there's very little to no information on this weapon other than its uh, name, uh, date of manufacture, and its caliber. In fact, there is no information on its magazine capacity. It is just listed as a semi or fully automatic rifle from the year 1930 chambered in 6.5 millimeter uh, Mauser or some other cartridge you know this is this is the only information I could find on this weapon but it is a pretty advanced looking weapon if this weapon had been adopted it would have made the Norwegian army more capable of defending itself from the German army or even the British army during the Second World War now many of you may know in the night in the year 1940 uh, Germany did invade Norway but Germany's main enemy at the time the UK was also also planning to invade Norway. During the invasion of Norway, the German army quickly ran through the Norwegian infantry divisions. During the battle, the Norwegian army barely put up a fight against the German army, mostly because their weapons were largely outdated. I mean, the Norwegian military was still using uh, World War I machine guns that were modified, or slightly modified for anti-aircraft use as their standard anti-aircraft machine guns. They did have some 20 millimeter Madsen machine guns, just like the Danish. But other than that, there weren't that many modern weapons and the Norwegian army during the Second World War. In fact, the Norwegian army was so outdated that most of their coastal defense weapons or their coastal artillery mostly dated back to the 1880s and 90s and mostly consisted of old German Krupp guns. Remember, during the German invasion of Norway, the German heavy cruiser Blücher was sunk by Norwegian coastal artillery, largely consisting of Model 1888 and Model 1895 German Krupp heavy uh, field guns or heavy coastal defense guns. So by the time the Second World War came around, the Norwegians pretty much they didn't really modernize that much. I believe the reason they didn't modernize is probably because of money. 
you gotta remember after the great depression a lot of countries just didn't have the money to modernize so even though the norwegians themselves came up with a lot of good designs like this prototype weapon here a lot of these weapons just simply cost too much to mass produce in fact even the norwegian navy suffered the Norwegian Navy did have some modern warships, but most of the warships in the Norwegian Navy at the time dated back to the late 1890s to early 1900s. So yeah, so that's basically it. There's not much web. There's not much um, information on this weapon here, but it is one of the rarer prototype weapons designed by the Norwegians, and pretty much one of the more advanced weapons designed by Norwegians in the 1920s and 30s. It's kind of a shame that this weapon was never adopted but what are your thoughts and opinions on this weapons please uh put your opinions in the comment section below and until next time this was j man time signing off